Ever since I got into the creative world, I've always obsessed about having a desk setup that is aesthetically pleasing whilst being functional, cohesive and fluid with my entire home office. Even though this hasn't always been the case, over time I slowly gathered accessories that have helped me elevate my setup. Hello and welcome to the Value Space. In this video, I'll be showing you 12 desk accessories that will help you upgrade your setup. So buckle up and let's go for the ride. As we all know, it all starts with research on different platforms. Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok being my personal favorite. As you start to pile up the photos, you'll notice a pattern in the color scheme, materials and layouts, which is always a clear indication of what you gravitate towards. My personal favorite being mainly walnut and black accents. Jumping straight into it, the first item on the list are my Kanto YE2 desktop speakers in walnut seated on either side of the monitor. While audio perception is subjective, there's certainly a best light on what's good and what's not, in which case the fundamental guideline should always be clarity, detail, dynamic range and clear separation between the frequencies. In the case of these speakers, you're definitely getting the bang for your buck as they produce really good quality sound. Besides its main function of providing good quality sound, I like how they perfectly blend into the black and walnut theme. They do come in a variety of colors like black, white, oak, red, etc, etc, and you can always choose one that matches your setup aesthetically. I use this for video editing a lot and the sound is super accurate for me to monitor my audio levels, the only caveat being they don't pack that much bass. As for the price, they sit at the premium budget end of the market and they would set you back around 500 Australian dollars which is about 338 American dollars. I placed them on these black speaker stands from Amazon which help elevate them to the perfect angle. Moving on, the next items are my MagSafe stand and charger. Specifically purpose built to capitalize on the speed and convenience of MagSafe charging while also being a delight to use is this MagSafe stand from Groveman. Its solid steel base securely anchors my devices and the hand sanded hardwood and vegetable tan leather create a unique modern look. As for the Apple MagSafe charger, it's fast and snappy. Its perfectly aligned magnets attach to my iPhone and provide me with fast wireless charging of up to 15 watts. So one of the main reasons I got it apart from its charging component is when walking, I usually have my phone on silent with very limited notifications, but for every notification that comes through, I either pick it up and have a look or kind of lean over to the phone to see what the message was. Whereas now I can just glance towards it and my phone unlocks with face ID, allowing me to preview the messages. Next in line is this levitating plant and boy, this has definitely raised some eyebrows and many people can't have enough of it when they come into my home office. The planter originally came in white and I spray painted it black to match with the ongoing theme. I'm guessing most of you must be wondering how does it stay afloat? Well, to put it simply, it uses magnetic levitation to stay elevated. It's got a magnet in the base and another magnet on the planter. The magnets in turn work together to create repulsion between the base and the planter which ultimately creates the effect of levitation. I like how its gentle infinite rotations evoke a very ethereal calm to the space while working and inspire Edison-like creativity throughout the day which sets quite a productive mood for me. Moving on, the next item is my monitor riser. Made from premium hardwood plywood, aluminum and natural coke hand set with Japanese calligraphy ink, the walnut color adds a warm and natural look to the space which elevates the overall aesthetic of my home office. To put that into perspective, here's the desk without the monitor riser and here's the desk with the riser. Notice the difference in aesthetics. As for function, it can act as a speaker stand, although I don't use it that way since I got a super outright monitor. I also use it as a makeshift phone stand by leaning my phone on it. 
It's also got shelving compartments which are used for various things like shelving my M1 MacBook Pro, docking my M1 Mac Mini, putting my keyboard away when I need some extra desk space and also my desk tray compartment which I'll be talking about in just a bit. Something to note though, it comes with a steep price point and this would set you back around 430 Australian dollars which is about 290 American dollars. In saying that, there are a few budget options out there and I'll leave links in the description box for you guys to check out. Next up is the Grommet Desk Tray. Made from aluminum and cork material, it provides a soft and protective bed for my desk essentials like pens and sticky notes. It comes with four pockets designed to accommodate and help organize the things I need the most. Moving down, I got my Apple Magic Keyboard. In as much as this keyboard cops a lot of flap, especially in the tech world, in my opinion, one of the most efficient and durable keyboards for productivity out there. The keys sit on a chassis made entirely of aluminum, and for membrane keyboard, I find the key travel oddly satisfying. Do keep in mind the keys need to bottom out for the command to be registered. Make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell as I'll be doing an unboxing on fast impressions of a mechanical keyboard you've never seen before and you shouldn't miss out. Moving on, the next accessory is the Grovemed keyboard tray which houses my Apple Magic keyboard. Made from solid American hardwood, it complements the walnut theme in my workspace. It's got natural cork lining the base which not only prevents it from scratching the desk but also keeps my keyboard in place. Each tray is hand sanded and oiled for a rich lustrous finish and I like how the Magic keyboard fits in like a glove. Moving further down, complementing the keyboard is my wrist rest also from Grovemed. It features a panel of supple vegetable tan leather seated on a bed of hand sanded hardwood. I like how it elevates my wrist and provides cushioning as you type, although it feels a little bit too rigid for wrist rest and if it was made a little bit softer, it would even be better. As is with all high quality leather items, it develops a rich patina over time. Moving right across, I've got the next accessory in my ergonomic line. It may look a bit gimmicky, but this little accessory can save your wrists from long-term health issues and here's why. It's actually unnatural for your wrists to be in this kind of position for prolonged periods of time and can lead to serious health effects down the line, like carpal tunnel syndrome, hence the name Carpio. So if you're in the market for a wrist rest, I'd highly recommend trying this one out. And it's also really cheap. While on the subject of ergonomics, this has to be the most ergonomic mouse whilst being a productivity driver. I like this mouse and for few good reasons. First off, its shape is perfectly designed to ergonomically fit your palm, which makes using it super comfy, especially when paired with the Capio 2.0. Secondly, when it comes to productivity, it's got a myriad of keys that you can customize to your liking using the Logi Option Plus software. Its scroll wheels come in handy when scrubbing through the timeline, adjusting tools in Premiere Pro and for my overall computer experience. I enjoy its 4000 dpi sensor that makes it fast and snappy. I also like how I can switch between devices by pressing this button on the bottom of the mouse. Hosting the mouse and wrist rest is my Grovemed mousepad which provides a smooth sliding surface from a Logitech MX Master 3 and also has a pen tray for easy accessibility. Just like the wrist rest, it's made out of supple vegetable tan leather resting on an aluminum sheet and has cork lining which keeps it in place and gives the right amount of cushioning. It's definitely going to be a staple in my setup and can't wait to see how the leather develops that patina over time. To help all these items stay in place, I've got a wool felt desk mat from Minimal Desk Setup and I love how the wool feels. Made out of 3mm thick virgin merino wool felt, it provides a nice visual structure and organization to my desk. These are not designed for gaming because I do find sliding the mouse on this not as smooth but I personally enjoy the wool felt feeling when sliding the mouse and also having a wide enough area to hold some of my extra accessories. The next accessory is the BenQ screen by Halo. This monitor light has become so popular in recent months and despite being not so cheap, most tech YouTubers rock it in their setups. Besides its main function of lighting up the cockpit of my setup, I like how it protects my eyes through its asymmetric light pattern that minimizes glare on the screen and the coolest thing about it, it's got a wireless controller. I love how I can place it anywhere on the desk and it looks awesome and clean without a cable attached to it. You can turn it on by hovering over the sensor and from there you can adjust the brightness, 
temperature or just set it to auto and it will do the rest for you it fits on most monitors but it's also got a special adapter for my card monitor another unique feature is that it's got a light on the counterweight to light up the wall to further reduce eye strain I'm sure by now you've realized working at a desk can be quite tiring and being a content creator I'm no exception. Those long editing sessions can be quite exhausting and in the long run some serious back issues can develop which brings me to the next accessory from Fluid Stance who are kind enough to send it over. The Level Balance. This accessory can help you walk while standing and even though it might look a bit intimidating at first, getting on it it's pretty easy. You step on one side then the other foot falls. From there you kinda balance yourself and while standing on it you feel your body move around naturally and you can either twist around, move side to side, do 360 and you can also use it while seated. In the short time that I've used it, it's actually been really nice and fun especially being a very athletic person. At first, I thought I'd have to concentrate and use my mental power just to balance. But it's actually simple enough that you could still do whatever you need to do and still concentrate on your work. Even though it comes at a premium price of 250 American dollars, I think it's great for someone who wants to add a bit of fun in their setup. People of the internet, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm signing out. See you on the next one.